have Delon de Metz, who is the Chief Strategy Officer at Leonardo Renda, and prior to joining Leonardo team, ran Strategy for Cryptonomous, which is one of the premier ICO consultancies in the United States. So can you please give uh, Delon de Metz a very warm welcome to the stage as the final speaker of the day. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the, uh, the warm round of applause. My name is Delon de Metz, and I am very proud to say that I run strategy for Leonardo Render, the fastest, simplest, and most affordable cloud-based graphical rendering solution on the planet. Now, today I'm going to answer three questions. The first, what is rendering? The second, the problems with rendering in 2018. And lastly, what the solution is, Leonardo Render. So first, what is rendering? Rendering is the final stage in the production of CGI, computer-generated imagery. It's what takes a wireframe, Exhibit A, and transforms it into a photorealistic image, uh, Exhibit B. Who uses rendering? Everyone uses rendering. Advertisers, product designers, manufacturers, architects, game producers, movie studios. Who likes animated movies? Come on, come on, all right, all right, thank you. Uh, wireframes, these are what are created by content creators before they go through the process of rendering, which transforms them into photorealistic images. Just to drive this point home, these images you see on screen, they're not photos. They're computer-generated images that have undergone an extensive rendering process. Advertising, this is an interesting statistic. 75% of the items in the IKEA home catalog are computer-generated images that have undergone rendering. They are not photos. IKEA will use CGI to mock up products and gauge consumer response for items that are prized by consumers. They'll actually go through the process of manufacturing them and distributing them. Apple uses CGI. And then some of your favorite movies. You see Lord Thor up here, Matt Damon, Godzilla. And the animated movies are 100% CGI. Uh, CGI and rendering has become so advanced in recent years that you will not be able to tell the difference between a photo of your favorite actor, Daniel Craig 007, and a computer-generated image. This is not a photo, this is a CGI rendering of Daniel Craig, and uh, the lady to his left is also not a real person. It's a big industry. CGI will exceed about $150 billion this year. And cloud computing as a market will exceed $400 billion by 2020. 31% uh, of the market belongs to content creators, 25% architects, and then movie studios, animation studios, product design, they fill in the gaps. Now, what are the problems with rendering in 2018? The first, rendering is a very, very slow, very long process. How slow? For a very detailed, complicated animated film, it could take up to 24 hours to render one frame, just to put that into context. 24 frames comprise one second of a film. So it could take up to 24 days to render a second of an extremely complicated animated movie. This is Avatar up here. Uh, the second problem, content creators using current cloud-based rendering solutions are not able to work on their own computers. They have to use remote desktop applications and a bunch of other annoyances to be able to get their work done. This interrupts their workflow and no one likes it. Using Leonardo, content creators are able to work on their own laptops, on their own desktops, using their own tools. The third, IP protection. All current cloud-based rendering solutions require content creators to upload, if not the entirety, large chunks of their IP to the cloud. Now, this leaves a number of holes to be attacked by hackers. And if you're dealing with uh, sensitive content, if you're doing the new Star Wars film, you don't want a hacker coming on and finding out how Luke Skywalker dies and ruining the movie for, for uh, millions of potential viewers around the world and affecting the bottom line of Disney or another large corporation. Fourth, rendering is pretty expensive. We price our service at 50 cents per GPU per hour, uh, at least 30% lower than the cheapest of our main competitors. And fifth, current cloud-based rendering solutions are difficult to use. The software is complicated. Leonardo is so easy to use, a child could use it. 
Now, this brings us to the solution, Leonardo, a decentralized graphical rendering platform. Now, what is Leonardo? It's comprised of two elements, an infrastructure and a software. The infrastructure is a decentralized network of large-scale GPU render farms. Uh, the first one of our list is Gigawatt. Now, Gigawatt is a 23,000 GPU farm in Washington State in the United States. It's the biggest one in North America. There's some photos here of Gigawatt and the miners. Uh, and then there's our software, the Leonardo Render application. It's pretty simple. It's a desktop application. You download it from our website. You open it. And you staff available GPUs. And sorry, this is a bit blurry. You staff available GPUs to complete your rendering. Uh, this is task distribution. Uh, again, very simple. A user downloads our software, accesses the service, selects GPUs, and then our work algorithm will assign the work to GPUs within our network. How do you join the Leonardo Render ecosystem? You use our Leos token. The Leos token is not a payment token. You pay for our service in Bitcoin, in Ethereum, and Fiat, and you are compensated for providing compute power in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Fiat. To join our network, GPU miners, GPU farmers, will have to stake our token. Again, the Leos token. Uh, this gives you the right to accept work from the system. And it also does a, a nice job of aligning incentives. You're incentivized to do a good job as a miner, as a producer of compute power for the network by having your tokens essentially in escrow. If there's a dispute and the miner is found at fault, a portion of the tokens will be transferred over to the customer. Uh, some of you might be wondering, why would a GPU farm sign up for a network? Well, they're incentivized just based on revenue. Currently, you can make about three cents per GPU per hour uh, mining Ethereum. Rendering, using Leonardo, you can make up to 50 cents per GPU per hour. That's almost a 20-fold increase in revenue per GPU per hour. Uh, these are just some token sale numbers. We can talk about this a little bit more tomorrow, but we're raising 36 million, soft capped is five, token price is 50 cents, and then our max token supply is 288 million. Now, this is our roadmap. Uh, we're starting with our private placements now and continuing work on our alpha product. Uh, in August, we'll begin beta testing and then working on our staking system. In December, we'll be releasing our beta. Uh, Q1 2019, releasing our final product. And then in the future, we have a few cool initiatives built. One of them is our laboratory, the Leonardo Lab. And what the lab will be doing is iterating on our software, working on it to make sure that we are the premier solution for graphical rendering for all industry participants. This is the team. Marco is our very talented CEO. He's both an accomplished executive and also uh, a talented content creator. He's actually won at the Cannes Film Festival, which if, if any of you guys know movies or, or entertainment, it's a, it's a pretty high prize. Uh, I run strategy, and as you heard before, prior to this, I ran strategy at Cryptonomous, which is an ICO book building platform, then also a consultancy in the United States. Uh, and before that, I was in crowdfunding for a couple years doing traditional Indiegogo and Kickstarter campaigns, and before that, I studied economics at Harvard. Uh, Marcin is our CTO. He's been working on the software for four years now, iterating on it. Uh, Adrian Song works closely with Marco, is a creative genius, and then Taylor keeps everything in line. Now, the future. We think the future is extremely bright. We are entering an underserved market with a very, very interesting, straightforward, competitive product with a good use case. Uh, that's it. It was, it was fairly quick. Um, I'll get, everyone can leave now, but guys, we are having a cocktail party in the back, in room S. If everybody wants free drinks, they're on the Leonardo team, all right? So please keep that in mind. Thank you so much for staying late. Uh, thank you for your introduction, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the evening.